So I saw this video by Mundane Matt, and it just really was bothering me, so I had to make a little quick response video to this. Check out this clip, quick cringe warning, and we'll come back and talk about it. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name is Matt Jarbo. This is the Mundane Matt channel, and it appears that Chank Uker is in trouble, and I'm totally totally fine with this right some people ask me what's your opinion on this my opinion on this is that yeah let's see what happens because the justice democrats have asked for shank uger's resignation which now i feel i can actually support the justice democrats beforehand i've, I've repeatedly told them i like what you guys are trying to do get chank the hell out of there chank is bad for your brand chank is a big brown buffalo and let's see what he's gonna do now but we have to kind of go back before getting to the Justice Democrat part. We have to look to see why people are mad at Cenk Uger. Well, it turns out he apologizes for an ignorant past blog post about women. So yes, Cenk, I'm totally a male feminist, mean that legitimately, totally from the bottom of my heart, no worries here. Uger uh, has, uh, has, 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 <laughs> has unearthed some of his some of his past where he's uh where it says here that the founder of the progressive online channel the young turks apologized on thursday after making sexist and derogatory remarks on his blog years ago that included commentary that argued that women are genetically flawed because they don't want to have sex often enough i don't know if i'd argue genetically flawed you're just you're just doing it wrong <laughs> i have no idea I wasn't much of a ladies man, although many people in the comments would be like, yeah, we could have figured that one out, Matt. Anyway, the blog post by Cenk Uger from the early 2000s were first flat. So the deliberate mispronunciation of his name is just makes you look childish. His name is not Cenk, it's Jank, and that really makes you look like an immature child. But, you know, you not supporting the Justice Democrats because Jank is a part of them is really childish. Even people like the amazing atheist T.J. Kirk, who also doesn't like Jank for whatever reason, um, is said, has said, and he supports the Justice Democrats, he said, hey, um, I can put that aside, and I will support the Justice Democrats. And I wanted to talk about this because there's this idea that Jank is this some kind of really low-hanging fruit. But really, when it comes to the real issues, now I see that there could be problems when it comes to the Sam Harris issue, but that doesn't mean that Jenk is wrong on nine or right on ninety percent of the issues. I'm talking about universal health care, college, you know, supporting Bernie Sanders, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. all of the different stuff. And you know, those are the things that the Justice Democrats support. So if you support the issues that the Justice Democrats support, you will be somebody who wants to support them and who will support them just because some guy is there and again if it was somebody who didn't agree with the issues then maybe it's a legitimate objection but in this case it's not even a legitimate objection and you know the kind of gladness and the happiness that he gets at the idea of the ending of his career is really uh remarkable to me and the way that he says you know jank you know uh male feminist whatever um this was written back in the 2000s so basically what happened is these People just dug up this thing that he wrote from 2000 and 2003 when he was still a Republican, still a conservative. And I've already talked about this. He wrote stupid shit when he was a conservative, and then he changed into being a liberal. So how can you dig up stuff that he wrote as a conservative and use it against him when he's now a liberal? And I've already said this because a lot of liberals, mainly, it's mainly liberals going after Jank right now. And what I was trying to say is, how could you go after the person... Who changed from being a conservative to liberal if that's what you want them to do aren't you then promoting the opposite of what you want them to do so that made no sense and and you calling him a big brown buffalo or whatever you really aren't one to talk dude and again it doesn't really solve anything at all and it just makes you look like a joke but it just seemed very stupid and very smug and i thought that i'd talk about this video Support independent progressive media by leaving a subscription down below, leave a like and share the video, help us out on Patreon or you can donate in other ways, links are in the description down below, we are fighting Trump tooth and nail and we will continue to do so with your help.